Hey everyone, and today we're going to be talking about a new topic in organic chemistry. And in this video, we're going to talk about a new family, which is the family of carboxylic acids. Now, carboxylic acids, like all organic families, form a homologous series. And this series is related by this formula, CnH2n plus 1 COOH. And the functional group for carboxylic acids is COOH, or between us guys, we're going to name it as CU. So we're going to give it a nickname. I know this is a creepy smiley, but it's CU. So this CU is the functional group, and we name it as the carboxyl group. Now, in the previous videos regarding alcohols, we said that if we oxidize ethanol, we get a carboxylic acid, and it's ethanoic acid. So let's remind ourselves of this reaction. So the reaction is C2H5OH, which is ethanol, and we're oxidizing this using some oxygen in the presence of acidified potassium manganate. So MnO4, so KMnO4 to give ethanoic acid plus some water. So this is how we get carboxylic acid. So let's write this. This is how we get carboxylic acids. So, we're basically oxidizing an alcohol. Now, let's move on to naming the carboxylic family. So, let's scroll to have more space. So, now let's talk about naming and structure. Now, let's see. Let's put the formula here, so CnH2n plus 1 COOH, and you notice in the formula we have two carbons, the one in the functional group right there, and the one right here. One of them is constant, this is the constant C, and this is the changing C. So, the CN changes with the number of N, so for example, N equals 1, N equals 2, and so on and so forth, but the C in the functional group doesn't change. So that's why the carboxylic family starts with N equals zero, because N equals zero is gonna give us the first carbon. So let's see. So if we substitute N equals zero, we get HCOOH. Now we have one carbon. If we have one carbon, that means we're gonna use the prefix meth. So, this is going to be methanoic acid. And the suffix here is oic because carboxylic acids use the suffix oic, which is oic. Now, let's move on to the next member, which is going to be n equals 1. So, let's substitute together n equals 1. We're going to get CH3COOH, which is ethanoic acid. Now, we used S because we have two carbons. Now, ethanoic acid is one of the very famous acids in this family and is very used, it's very common to be used in the lab. As we mentioned previously, the reaction here with ethanol and oxygen produces ethanoic acid. Now, it's a very weak acid and we're going to get into the details of this acid later on in the video, so let's continue with the naming now let's move on to the third member which is n equals 2 and substitute together so we get c2h5cooh and this is gonna be propanoic acid now let's 
explore the structure of these three members. Now, there are several more members, but we're just discussing three for now and to, to make you get the feel and an idea of naming and the structure and so on and so forth. So, here is methanoic acid and then we have ethanoic acid and then finally propanoic acid. Now let's explore the structure. Well the difference between these three is that we increase each one by a carbon. So methanoic has the formula HCOOH and here CH3COOH and then C2H5COOH. Now let's see together. We start always by putting the backbone of the compound. Now here we put the C and here we have a hydrogen and here is a double bond and here is the OH. Now this is how you draw the structure of carboxylic acids. We have a double bond, one double bond and one OH bond. Now, let's move on to ethanoic acid. It's going to be very similar, very, very similar. So we start with the backbone. So here is our C's and they're single, single bonded. And then we put our H's. So here are our three hydrogens. And then we have our double bond and we have the OH bond. Now you see here, what we did is we expanded the structure by this methyl group. So this is the same, so let me point it out in a different color. This is the same throughout the family because this is the functional group. Now let's draw propanoic acid. Now if you want to stop the video right now and do it yourself and then recheck with me, that would be a great idea. Now to draw propanoic acid, you do the same thing. You have your backbone, three C's right there, singingly bonded, and then you put your H's, so we have five H's, and then your double bond and your OH bond. So that's it for naming and the structure of carboxylic acids. So let's recap. So in this video, we talked about the family of carboxylic acids and we said that they are related by this formula. And we said they're famous for their carboxyl group, which is COOH or Q, if you want to nickname it. Now we said if we want to get a carboxylic acid, what we do is we oxidize some alcohol. And in this case, it was ethanol and we get ethanoic acid. Now we moved on to naming and structure of carboxylic acids. And we talked about three different members which were ethanoic acid, methanoic acid, and propanoic acid. And we also talked about how to draw the structure of these three. So in the next videos, we're going to focus more on ethanoic acid since it's the one that's very important in the family and we use a lot in the lab and so on and so forth. So stay tuned for ethanoic acid and good luck.